Today we'll be having a look at both footed goal scorers. We'll be taking a look at some of the different striking techniques to help you improve both feet so you can score more goals from more different positions on the pitch. At the same time as that, we'll be analysing some of the top players in the world and why they are so good at scoring with both feet. One of the first things we want to do is make sure we create an angle when we shoot. That allows us to get our foot around the ball and start to hit the ball into the corners of the goal. If we take a look at Cristiano Ronaldo, he scored a huge amount of goals and 424 of them have come from his right foot with 114 of them coming on his left foot as well. Now his strengths are that he's great at getting at the back post and finishing off crosses. He's able to strike with his laces and aim for the corners of the goal whenever he's trying to finish. And that ability to shoot from distance happens because he's able to strike the ball in his laces. And even when he is shooting from distance, he will aim for the corners. So focus on hitting the ball nice and firmly with a locked ankle on those shoelaces. And we always want to focus on getting the right technique before trying to hit the ball too hard. And now we come to Harry Kane, scoring 140 goals in his right foot, while also scoring a good number with his left foot, a total of 48 goals. So we can actually see that he's both footed, and that's something that I didn't necessarily notice straight away. And what I like about Harry Kane is his ability to hit the corners of the goal. He can finish with the laces, but he can also use power and placement at the same time. It's important that if you want to become both footed, that you focus on being able to hit the ball across the goal with both feet. So I want you to have a look at the next video where we've got two clips and see the difference in speed. Players who are both footed will feel comfortable in using that weaker foot to shoot across goal, whereas those who aren't could cut in on their favoured foot, which potentially prevents them getting the shot away. From looking at this video, we can clearly see that it takes a good second or so longer to cut back inside and finish. So if we can get developing that shot on our weaker foot going across the goal, then we're going to have plenty more opportunities to score. So coming back to Harry Kane again, you can see that he's great on both feet. And one of his big strengths is his ability to use power and placement. So here using the instep, which was trying to use our inside of our foot to knock the ball across the goal into the corner. Now with a little bit of bend going away from the goal, this could potentially move the ball away from the goalkeeper, making it much harder to save. But we can also use that inset in step to quickly whip the ball back in at the near post if need be. And another that we see as being fantastic at this is Sadio Mane. He scored 66 goals with his right foot and 32 goals with his left. And he's absolutely fantastic at cutting inside and getting his shot away. He can use both feet and his ability to curl to the far post is really, really good. And it's something that provides a great opportunity to strike from distance while also using a bit of accuracy and placement. So what we want to do here is get our touch out of our feet. And as we strike, we're going to aim our hips wide of the goal. Aim slightly wide of the post so that we can then wrap our foot inside, around the inside of the ball. As we do that, the ball should curl back in to that far corner. It's a tricky technique, but you should always practice focusing on the technique first. We make sure we get our body in the right position, we're controlled and we're not hitting the ball too hard. We can start initially by striking the ball when the ball is stationary. It can almost be like a free kick, but we want to focus on connecting with the ball nice and firmly, making sure that we are realising what we're doing with our strong foot. How's our body weight? How's our positioning as we strike the ball? And as we do that, you then need to try and replicate that on your other foot. Remember those aspects of how you struck that shot well with your strong foot. And then we can progress that into different types of shots. So bouncing balls on the volley or even shots that are just bobbling as the ball's coming into you. 
but you must always focus on the technique first. If we can get the technique first, we're going to have much greater chance to begin hitting the ball with power. But if we try and hit the ball too hard first of all, we'll lose that technique and we definitely will find it much more difficult to aim and hit those corners.